hate. I love hate. Hate email. I just got one from Dennis Funk. F U N C K. Mm. I wonder if that's a real name. I hope so. Should we call him? Yeah. Uh, nobody gives a crap about what your political opinions are. Stick to what you know, which is cars, supposedly, and leave the thinking to the intelligent, free thinkers of the world. Amen. Thank you, Dennis Funk. Hey, Pre-K. What's going down? Can you call this number for me? Yeah, for sure. You got him on? What line? Yeah. Okay, there you go. There's your Mine answer. Mine too. All right. Dennis. Is it Dennis? Hey, it is. Are you the one that sent me the hate mail? Oh, yeah. It was good hate mail, don't you think? I, it was decent hate mail. I, I just wondered, what, what was the political opinion? I, I'll, I'll, let me reset this. So Dennis went to jcwshow.com and sent contact us, and he sent me some hate mail, and it actually caught my eye during the break. Nobody gives a crap about what your political opinions are. Stick to what you know, which is cars. Supposedly. Supposedly. <laughs> and leave the thinking to the intelligent free thinkers of the world. So I, since you obviously are the, right. are, the, are the cornerstone of intelligent free thinkers of the world, I wanted to give you a national platform to push your crap out. So Far go ahead. from it, brother. It's all you, man. Far from it. And I don't know how much you know about cars or not. Honest to God, this is the first time I've ever heard, heard your show. Yeah. And I go, well, that was a damn funny thing to say. And I'll tell you what you said that, that uh, peaked uh, my ire, okay. let's put it. You said Trump was a, wanted to be a dictator. And uh, that was so far from the truth. That tells me two things about you. Yeah. Number one, it tells me that I know where you're getting your information from. Okay. And number two, if that's where you're getting your information from, you're not paying attention. So, so, so those number, are the two things I know about you from that statement that you said. Okay. Now, whether or not you know what, uh, what cars are and about it, I just learned about you today. I read your bio. Hmm. Uh, so you ran a thing in Texas. Yeah, whatever. So anyway, so <laughs> you, you probably know cars. I I'm no judge on that. That's but, right. I do uh, have a day job. Your political opinions, I don't care what they are. Stick to cars, buddy. So you're up in D.C. Nobody cares what your political you're opinions are. You're up in D.C. Are. Well, my, my political, it's so funny. No matter. Well, no he's matter, new. Hey, Dennis, am I going to talk or are you going to shut up? No, no, you gave me a national platform. National platform I'm going to use it. Yeah, but I get to respond, right, and rebuke. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, yes, okay. you do. Okay. Keep so going. Go, brother. I do like Trump. It's a bad joke. I, I get to make snarky jokes because that's what I do on the radio. I've been doing this 18 years. I've got a million seven in audience per the Nielsen's, and they seem to like it. Trump actually is the one that went in and busted up the system. He busted up the establishment. What will he be remembered for? And that's, that's what he will be remembered for. It was too big of a job to finish, and he got a little crazy in his delivery, and I wish that he would have shut up a little bit like you're telling me to do and finish the job because he was trying to get it done. But he got out there. You know it, I know it, right? I mean, you're obviously an avid Trumper. I'm not an avid Trumper, but I'm a centrist, and I can see when there's something that needs to be broken up, a monopoly that needs to be broken up, and he wanted to break it up. And he was right. All right. So does that change your opinion of me any? Whether or not I'm a Trumper or... Shut up. Prick. <laughs> Ooh. Honey, you're right. We do need to put a fence and a gate around the house. <laughs>